All right, so in this amazing, wonderful video, I'm gonna show you how to make a professional business logo like any of these right here I created, and for free, how about that? And what's great about logos is it really represents your brand, so if you really want people to see you as professional, I would really focus on the branding of the logo because that's one of the first things they focus on, number one, but number two, we really want to make it look good. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this logo right here that I just created. And I created this logo literally in five to 10 minutes, honestly. So what I did is I went to Google first and I looked for a logo that I wanted. So I went to Google and I said, you know what? I'm a baker. Let's say I want bake baker logo or bakery logo or something like that. And I went to the images here and I saw that there was this image right here. So I right clicked and I saved this image on my desktop. That's the first thing I did. Now I have it on my desktop and I'm gonna use this as a reference for my logo. So that's the first thing I did. I look for some kind of inspiration that I want. Um, the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to Logo Maker to create this logo. Logo, M-A-K-R.com, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R.com and I'm gonna click this orange button. So that's the second thing you want to do is go to Logo Maker. What's great about Logo Maker is you could create a really custom logo and you could put layers on it. You could do so many things. You could even uh, mess with like shapes and so on and so forth on this and, and really get creative with your logo. The first thing I like to do is I like to take that, uh, that image and drag it over. So from my desktop, I'm going to drag that inspiration over. It's gonna say, hey, do you really wanna do this because it's not a vector file? Vector file means it could blow up on a billboard and it will never get blurry. But since we're using this as a reference, I'm just gonna say, yes, I understand because we're not gonna actually use this within our logo. We're just gonna use it as a reference because we're gonna put our logo on the side of this. And this is what I do all the time to create beautiful logos. So the first thing I do is that, and then I make it a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm going to look for a, you know what, let's go and get the background first. Let's do that first. So I'm gonna click on this right here and it's gonna give me the exact color. So if I click on this black area, it'll give me the black color. If I click on this, it's gonna give me that color. So I'm gonna right click and copy that color because I want that exact color, I really like that color. And then I'm gonna go to my shapes area right here and I'm gonna go click on the square. Boom, got that square, it's blue. But since I copied it, I'm going to go over to the color area and I'm going to highlight it, paste that same color, presto, now I have this in my background. This is what I'm going to use for my background for my logo. So I got that. That's number one. Now number two is I want to get that circle. And I'm going to show you how to make those cuts in that circle. There's two ways of doing it. You could go to the ring tool just like this and you could cut things up just like this. You could do that. That's one way. Another simple way to do it is just grab a ring just like this, and I'm gonna make it black in my uh, color area, and I'm gonna go to the outline. There's fill and there's outline, and I can make this thicker or smaller. That's really cool. I could do that. So this is what makes it custom, all right? And I can make it bigger by clicking those edges and moving it around just like that. All right, so now I got that right there, and I want some cuts in between before I start adding other layers like text and, and my other uh, layer here. Usually I, I do add um, icon layers, but for now I'm gonna get my, my I'm gonna layer it from the back to the front, and that's why I'm doing it this way. So now I'm gonna copy this, because I want that same color, and see if you can guess what I'm about to do. I'm gonna duplicate this, this layer and you'll see all the layers actually I'm going to show you this this is the layers so just pretend you have a piece of paper and just adding layers to it and I'm going to right click duplicate now I have this layer and I'm going to resize it you could just click on these things and you could just resize these simply resize these layers the way you want it so now I got this as a see that now it cut it out right there haha -ha. Now, I'm going to go ahead and right click, duplicate, and I'm going to, and notice that it lines it up right there. You see those lines? It just, it knew to line that up. Boom. Now I have that, and I'm going to right click, duplicate again, put it up here. Maybe I want it a little bigger, and you can mess with this later on and get it right. 
So now I got those cuts the way I want it. The next thing I want is I'm going to make, I don't know, cookie uh, logo. So I'm going to look for a cookie and let's see what cookie do I want? Oh, there's millions and millions of graphics, but you know what? That's just for, for argument's sake. Let's just get this cookie right here. I'm going to resize this. We could change it up later on if we want to. There you go. I'm going to put it right there. And with your keyboard, you can move it up or down as well. Now I want the text. So I'm going to go to the T here and I'm going to put sweet cookies or cookies, sweet cookies. I'm going to make that dark by going over to the color thing, resize it by clicking the edges, but I don't want that uh, font. I want a different font. They have different categories and, and then all the fonts within the category. So I'm going to go to a cursive handwriting and they have a bunch of these cursive ones. So I'm going to look for something that I really love. Let's see that. Ooh, this one is awesome. I love this one right there. Boom. Move that over to where I want it. Just going to do that. There you go. And then with my keyboard mouse, I want to center it with my, that. That looks starting to look pretty good. All right. Now, maybe a little bit smaller, maybe. There you go. There you go. Use your eye on that one. Now, now I want the bakery shop. So I'm going to add another T right here, another layer for my T. And I'm going to put a bakery shop. I'm going to make it all cap V A K E R Y S H O P. Um, I'm going to make this dark black right there, black, black, black. And then I'm going to go over to hmm, designer picks and I'm going to find something a little thinner. Let's go to Poppins. No, uh, maybe even different than that. Roboto or railway. Ah, railway. That's nice. Okay. Now I'm going to make it a little smaller. Take that and move it over here. Maybe even smaller than that. There you go. I don't want space below it. And let's see how that looks. Woo, that's looking good. All right, okay, okay, let's go here. And anytime you want to get your layers right here, you could just click on this layer like that and then move it up and then click on it. So click on the layer and then click on it and then you could start messing with it um, if you can't hit that layer. Sometimes you'll hit this layer or you'll hit this other layer in the background because there's these square layers. See that square layer? And maybe you wanted the cookie, but you didn't want this one, you know. So this really helps hitting those layers right there really helps. So that's looking pretty good. I'm sure I could do a lot more here within the time constraints. I'm just trying to get it to look, you know, 99.9% .9 professional, which it does right now. I'm going to delete this one. This is my sample. I actually like mine better than theirs. Um, and that, that took, I don't know, pretty quick, like less than five minutes. I'm going to delete this right here. And if you want to make this bigger, you could highlight this. You could take the corners and it's going to highlight everything within those layers. And I'm going to make it bigger or smaller. Pretty cool. I'm going to move it over, maybe center it. And then I want to crop this down here at the corner is a little crop tool. Click on that and then you can move it and crop it. There you go. That's pretty good. See how you could just crop it the way you want it. Make a good amount of same amount of spacing up and down left and right. And then once you're done with that, click apply crop. There you go. And now we're going to save it. So click on the save logo up on the top right here. And you could see what it looks like on hats, t-shirts, banners. And since it has, you know, this background, it's going to look different on hats, t-shirts and banners. But when you print it, it'll look really good. Um, you could save it for free. You just have to agree to service or terms and it's, um, it's a little bit smaller. You can put it on your website and whatnot. I highly recommend using the high resolution ones and you could get the license and stuff and that's about like $29. If you are into your brand and you love this logo, totally worth the investment of $29. That's nothing compared to hiring a professional designer to do this for you for like what, three, four, five hundred dollars $500? Totally worth it. I would get that and you get all the professional files, the vector files, so you could put it on a billboard, t-shirts, banners, all that cool stuff. And, um, and yeah, I mean, send me, put your logo down below. Once you create this logo, I would love to see it. What you created. We see absolutely phenomenal logos from, um, people making logo maker, uh, logos. I love it. So if you have any questions, I hope you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give me your comments and I will talk to you in the next video.